hello friends in this video i am going to show you how to embed a google map in your section how to include or embedded google map in your section okay so i have a section i have a section capture a claim details uh, so here I just want to embed a Google map that is my requirement so now what I am going to do is there is an option here map just drag and drop this map control okay now when you drag and drop a map control see this one Google Maps API key not found in the system please refer to this PDN article so you know in pega we have a one dynamic system setting call it as a google api key in pega we have a one dss pega end user ui okay the setting purpose see this one dynamic system setting api key to access google maps api okay so api key to access a google maps api by default it was empty by default it was empty so what is the dss setting ui engine map google api key by default this is one of the dss which is required to access the google maps api so now what is the api key here so i have to generate the api key I have to generate the API key. See the error message. Google Maps API key is not found in the system. So this is the DSS. So how to generate the API key? Now what I am going to do? We have a URL call it as a cloud console, right? Console.cloud.google.com. Console.cloud.google.com. Here you can create a project. First of all, you can create a when you launch this one google cloud here by default a list of projects which are already created list of projects which are already created just click on a new project okay my project name is um, maps your wish maps for pega okay so location organization if you want you can give it okay we have a seven projects remaining in your quota request okay just okay now just click on create i have created a new project i have created a new project the project name is uh, maps for pega now i am selecting the project name is maps for pega if you want you can switch back to other projects as well now this is my created project maps for pega now here after that just click on this uh, here the apis and services apis and services so here enable apis and services click on this one now here you have to enable the services uh, maps javascript api enable So, so now APIs is enabled. So just click on that. There you can enable a maps for JavaScript API. Now here maps JavaScript API. Next one is places API. Places API. Just click on this one. Enable.
okay so after enabling these two apis what you have to do just go back APIs and services, right? So click on credentials, create a credential and API key. Now, this is your Google API key for your project maps for Pega. Okay, now you can copy this API key, close. And if you want, uh, you can manage your settings, etc. But this is your API key. See, remember to configure what the consent scheme with information about your application. Okay, let it be. Let it be. This API key is unrestricted, unrestricted to prevent unauthorized use and quota theft, etc. Restrict your key to limit how it can be used. If you want, you can do all these settings. But just I want API key for time being okay now if you want you can see show api key as well okay just copy now close what i am doing going back there is a one setting dss now you can just click on save just click on save now go back to your section action refresh now this time this time okay what happened okay now that is gone just embedded okay see this time you won't see the error message just click on save now if you want you can apply some settings as well this google map settings show current location etc custom initial scale latitude and longitude update frequency blah 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 there are some settings for your google map and presentation also include a label map label value map label format standard enable the settings editable settings size custom auto uh, map width and height if you want you can keep it as auto and show current location visibility always etc just just click on submit and save now create a case because i have included this uh, map in a section so when you click on just save and run see uh, you can see this message this page cannot load google maps current correctly okay no problem just click on okay now you can see the message for a development purpose only by the way the google maps is not a free by the way google maps is not a free but anyhow you can see you can map the and you can see the google map Yeah, as usually but uh, you can see this but you can see this for a development purpose only and there are some options and you can see the google map uh, so by default google maps is not a free you have to enable your credit card registration uh, to avoid this for development purposes only okay i hope just understand how to uh, include or embedded a google map in your section thank you